Dr. Martin, welcome. Uh, hello or ahoy in Czech. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, tell me, how are you today? Uh, well, I'm feeling nice actually. Outside is raining, but uh, I'm inside and there is a warm and uh, everything's <laughs> nice. And you know it's going to start snowing this week. Yeah, uh, I'm actually looking forward to it. Really? Oof, oof, oof. Yeah. We are we are quite different people, you and I. <laughs> I am not a fan of the snow at all. <laughs> so maybe it's we funny. can start. You're from Iceland. Yeah, I know. That's also one of the reasons why I leave, why I left Iceland because of the snow. It's too much. Too oh, much. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, maybe we can start with a short introduction. If you can tell us a little bit about yourself, who are mm. you, Martin? Uh, so I'm me, obviously. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, I'm from the Czech Republic. Uh, I'm living here um, since forever, and. Uh, <laughs> So now I'm studying uh, English school in mm. Czech Budějovice, mm. but I'm from Košice, a small village uh, near Pilžimov. Mm. And uh, this is the place where I was volunteering since I was 14. Okay, okay, that's cool. And you are, you are our local volunteer for Hadina, am I right? Yes, exactly. Okay, since you're 14, that's, uh, that's quite a long time. Tell me, how did you... How did you, how did they drag you into volunteering? Well, actually, this is because of my sister. Mm -hmm. Thanks to my sisters. <laughs> uh, they were volunteering uh, before me and mm -hmm. uh, visiting these exchanges and everything. And they uh, let me try it. Mm -hmm. Give me advices and uh, everything. I tried it and it was brilliant uh, experience. So now I'm volunteering. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. And uh, so, how long? Like, how many years is that? I don't really. I don't know exactly how old you are. Uh, it, it's five years now. Five years. Oh, okay, so yeah. you you are young. You're very young. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So over the years, what have like been like your main uh, responsibilities? main responsibilities uh, when I had to be the sended one for Hodinaha mm -hmm. to European projects mm -hmm. by on my own. That was really nice experience. Uh, mm -hmm. It was in Valencia and uh, I never traveled alone, not uh, to these countries. Yeah and being responsible for uh, everything for project uh, for this uh, schedule that was nice experience as i said but uh, kind of hard work <laughs> yeah i know right like you were responsible for like a team of czech people yeah uh no i was alone that's, oh you that's, were alone uh, the, okay yeah okay. this was not exchange this was project and it was uh, different than the exchanges yeah, yeah. And uh, how long were you in uh, Valencia? Uh, just for uh, four days. Uh, like oh, I just four in. days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> These projects uh, that taking so long time, but uh, mm -hmm. you're always uh, doing something. So that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. And you have had uh, you've had quite some experiences with uh, youth exchanges, right? Uh, yeah, that's true. Okay, and tell me where where have you been to in the exchanges? I know that we were uh, together. Well, we were in the same country at the same time this summer in Italy. Where else have you been to? Uh, so I've been uh, three times in Spain. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. So uh, do you speak Spanish by now? Uh, yeah, I, I've been learning for four years. Okay, awesome, awesome. It's really good uh, to speak uh, Spanish when you're in Spain. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet, I bet. Yeah. But uh, these were the only one. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, I was uh, in Hungary. That mm -hmm. was a really nice project. Uh, it mm -hmm. was also with the uh, Russian people and oh. all these uh, East uh, Europe people. Mm -hmm. Really different than uh, in Spain. <laughs> But also, I was uh, participated uh, in uh, Czech uh, exchanges, like I was the hosting one. 
Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And where, where was that? In yeah, in Palermov. In Palermov. Oh, so with uh, yeah. with Adina. Yeah, exactly. So did you they, have like a group of uh, foreigners coming to Palermov? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we were a group of Czechs, uh -huh. and uh, we should uh, help the uh, incoming uh, exchange people uh -huh. uh, with. Uh, stuff and uh, telling them what to do uh -huh. uh, same as you uh, when i was the one who uh -huh. was coming into another country uh, i need also some help by these people so that's the reason why it's exchange because uh -huh. we need some sometimes be the incoming people yeah, true, sometimes the helpers I'm very curious because uh, you tell me now that you had a group of uh, foreigners coming to Palermov. Like, what what did you show them in Palermov? Uh, once there was uh, the, the, there were uh, Estonian people mm -hmm. and Ukrainian people. Luckily, there were one uh, Czech uh, person. Mm -hmm. He was adult at that time. I wasn't. <laughs> and he mostly showed them all the bars and uh, very very important <laughs> yeah. but during night uh, during day uh, we visited uh, all the nice uh, places uh, like uh, mm -hmm. uh or, or the places all around uh, the river mm -hmm. the, so to, to Stras uh, yeah yeah, uh, yeah yeah Stras is my favorite place to go in the in the summer <laughs> Yeah, that time it was like, uh, it was the, I think, uh, February, actually. Oh, brr. <laughs> but uh, there was no stone anymore. Oh, hmm, that's so, strange. Yeah. Yeah. And tell me, do you have any, do you have any upcoming projects that are waiting for you? Anything on the horizon that you're excited for? At this for? time, uh, I don't actually know. Uh, mm -hmm. There is problem with uh, COVID all around of course, Europe. Of course. And uh, the future of... No, there is n nothing in my shadow now. Yeah, understandable. I mean, the situation here in uh, Czech Republic is getting really, really yeah. out of control, kind of. Pretty out of control. Yeah. But exactly. uh, you tell me that, uh, yes, you have a lot of experience in uh, youth exchanges. So let's talk a little bit about that. Do you have any, do you have any like scary stories that anything like scary that has happened to you? Something like something happened, you wish that you didn't go or something like that? Well, uh, once I lost my ticket in Spain uh, Metro or underground. Yeah. yeah uh, that was my first uh, exchange. I was... Um, really new and uh, mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about foreign countries. <laughs> I couldn't uh, speak Spanish that time, nothing. <laughs> and we needed to catch a train mm -hmm. from uh, Madrid to Alicante. Yeah. But the plane was late, so, so we were also, and uh, we didn't catch it. Oh, so we, we went from Madrid airport to the train station. Mm -hmm. The train was uh, already uh, somewhere else. So we went back to the airport <laughs> where was bus station. And it was the problem because we had uh, two tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, one uh, the, to travel to the uh, train station yeah. and one back. Mm. Uh, but uh, I somehow changed them. And of I course. thought that the one... Uh, the one who was uh, exp expirated mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is the one which is still okay, mm -hmm. and I throw away the okay. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that wasn't good. Uh, luckily, the person there uh, mm -hmm. near the tourniquet, or mm -hmm. was it in English, uh, uh, helped me and uh, let me go. Uh, just I showed him the last. Uh, the expirated one. Oh, but that's nice. That's nice because you hear yeah. so many stories about like, you know, if you lose your tram ticket or subway ticket, like people go crazy and you get like a gigantic fine, you know? So it's nice that uh, you actually had some nice people there helping you out. Yeah, I was really delighted. Uh, and uh, because 
Oh, uh, no, no one from our group could really speak <laughs> Spanish, so I could, I can't imagine the situation like uh, talking with him, uh, where to buy another one just <laughs> to go through. Oh, luckily, uh, it happened well, but that ten minutes uh, of uh, totally nothing I could do. <laughs> terrifying. So now we now we know that like the best destination in Europe to lose your tickets is definitely Spain. So yeah, that's, that's very yeah, good yeah. to know. So we should go to Madrid just to lose our tickets and see what happens. Yeah, you could try. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, so that was that was that sounded like a really terrifying thing that happened. I, I know that I would definitely freak freak out if something like that happened to me. But tell me, like uh, this was a scary story. Do you have anything like? uh very very sweet every something something super nice that has happened to you super nice uh, or something was, just something uh, memorable uh i would like to talk about hungary because oh, uh, i love hungary the exchange there mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it was in small uh village uh, mm -hmm. somehow somewhere near a uh, serbian uh, border mm -hmm. and Nothing special was mm -hmm. there, just uh, the city of Patch. Mm -hmm. But uh, when we finished the project and we mm -hmm. should go back, uh, most of our uh, people went to Budapest yeah. to to went uh, somehow home, train, aeroplane, everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, three quarters of um, people mm -hmm. were there decided to stay one more night because we, we could obviously and of course uh, it's budapest so why not <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and uh, we uh, went through uh, most of the city like the main uh, stations the all the this building mm -hmm. and uh, in in the night uh, we all met uh, in uh, one pub there mm -hmm like a dancing club and everything was there and uh, we all met like we didn't uh, call anybody or no message nothing mm -hmm. but but we met that was really nice uh, and this is something like uh, worth is small that's uh that's so sweet because it's like it sounds like you know you yeah. kind of like found each other at the end that's yeah. really sweet <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, Budapest is an amazing city, but it's quite large, so that's uh, that's amazing that you all met up yeah. at the end at a nice place, and I hope you did some yeah. good dancing at the evening. Yeah, it was nice uh, this time. Uh, most, uh, like, uh, many things were happening mm -hmm. in the center. There was video mapping on one, uh, uh, on one place. Mm -hmm. There was uh, another festival, but... Uh, Luckily, all have uh, finished by nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. So everybody came to the center and there was the dancing place. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So it sounds like you had a great time in Hungary. Well, it's an amazing country. I love going to Hungary. So just, uh, OK, so this uh, you've told me about some quite interesting stuff. But uh, I want to ask you one last thing. So okay. imagine. I am a young person that uh, wants to go into volunteering. Is but there you're any obviously advice? Young, you are a young person. Okay, but imagine that I am a different young person. Okay. <laughs> and no, uh, my dream is to go into volunteering. What kind of advice would you give me? Uh, just go. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing like good advice because mm -hmm. uh, it's a feeling different for mm -hmm. every person. Mm -hmm. There was a friend of mine uh, who tried it once and he finished uh, because he didn't find that like what he wanted. Yeah, yeah. And there is different type uh, who is me, which tried it once and wanted more. <laughs> so, so there's nothing like uh, uh, pushing somebody into uh, or... Uh, let, letting him decide mm -hmm. long hours mm -hmm. the best is to try it if there is like uh, 0.1% chance uh, you want to try it mm -hmm. you should and then you will see uh, if it's exactly what you think uh, 
it's good for you or it's it's not okay well, that's that's good advice basically you're just saying just do it 